Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing a huge swimsuit try on for you guys. Now these swimsuits were sent to me by the company Zawful and I just will be reviewing them for you guys, giving you guys my basic and honest opinion on the swimsuits. And if this is your first time here on my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe. It's right there down in the bottom. And while you're at it, make sure you hit that notification so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. Alright, so before I jump right into showing you guys these swimming suits, I do want to say I will be telling you guys the pros and the cons of each swimming suit just so that I give you guys my honest opinion and make sure I don't leave out anything and have to go back and repeat myself. So the pro of this first swimming suit is the print. Now Zawful has really, really, really pretty swimming suits. They're so unique and they're so trendy. They're always on point with the trends. And I think it's so pretty and I like it. I think it was made very well. However, I don't think that this is a swimming suit for someone who has larger chest. Because me, I have um, a bigger chest than normal. I have a size CD. I don't know if that's normal, but I have big boobies, okay, you guys? So for me, this swimming suit just was not supportive enough. But the print is really pretty. It's comfortable and actually I would honestly compared this swimsuit quality to Victoria's Secret quality but the prices are like a fraction of the price of Victoria's Secret swimsuits so for this swimming suit it would have to be a pass on me just because I don't necessarily see myself just laying by the pool in this swimming suit but that's definitely for this swimming suit that's what it is so if you guys see this swimming suit online and you have bigger breasts just know it's not very supportive the straps are very flimsy um, I need some type of support when you have C cup or D cup or double D cup bra uh, boobies. So if you're like smaller, A, B, lower size C, this probably would be a better swimming suit for you. But for me, it just was not working out. The next swimming suit is so freaking pretty. And when I was choosing these swimming suits, you guys, I just wanted to make sure I chose different types of swimming suits so that way I could show you guys different types of my body style. So all of these swimming suits are not bikinis. They are all very different and unique. And this one I really, really, really like because of the back details. It's just like a normal bikini. Oh my gosh, if I could ever get it <laughs> right. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, so tangled up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this swimming suit, I really do like the back detailing. I like the front detailing. Let me see if I can show you guys a better view. So the back is um, not the typical bikini back. It's very pretty and you don't actually have to strap anything or tie anything or just any type of straps. It is very supportive unlike the last swimming suit that I was talking about. So I like that. And then on the bottoms, I really like how on the side, the side details really, really, really pull it together. And I just really freaking enjoy this swimming suit. I forgot to mention the last swimming suit that I ordered in a size small. And this swimming suit as well as a size small. Majority of the swimming suits I ordered you guys are like a small, medium. I'll make sure I'll let you guys know which ones are the small, which ones are the medium. For this swimming suit, I really don't have any cons about it. I feel like it's very supportive. I feel like I can jump in the pool or I can lay on the pool side and not have to worry about a booby popping out or a booty cheek popping out. So that's really important when I'm purchasing swimming suits because I just don't want that ever to happen because that's so embarrassing. So this swimming suit is definite go for me. But the next swimming suit I ordered is very, very much on trend and I actually love this print so much you guys. I have my phone case, my laptop case, this print and now I have a swimming suit. <laughs> and this is the marble print swimming suit and this is a bikini. The material is very, very, very soft and I actually love that about it but it's also not like normal cotton. I guess you could say it's not even like normal swimsuit material. It's very sturdy and I don't feel like anything would slip out, pop out with this at all. I don't have any cons about the swimming suit. It's very comfortable and I don't feel like a booby would pop out. Neither do I think a booty cheek would pop out with this swimming suit. And I ordered this in a size medium and it fits very, very good. So I love, love, love this swimming suit. 
The next swimming suit that I have to show you guys is really unique. i never seen a swimming suit like this in this style and when I seen it online I just knew I had to have it. I'm sorry you guys, I'm trying to untangle the um, straps in the back. But I really do like this swimming suit just because of the cutout in the front. And that is so freaking cute. I know when I hold it up you guys won't be able to really get the full in depth detail but when I show you guys when I show it to you on you'll be able to see I really love this swimming suit the only thing that I don't like about it is the sizing now I ordered this in a size small because I figured if I ordered it in a medium it would be too big because it's a one piece and I should have went with my first mine and ordered it in a medium just because when I ordered it in a small it fit very nice with my bust but it was very um giving me a wedgie in the booty part so that's something to always remember when you're ordering a one piece. I like to typically stay away from one pieces, but just because I knew I was doing this video as a try on video, I just wanted to have some variety and switch it up for you guys. So, yeah. Uh, this is not my favorite swimsuit, but this is not my least favorite swimming suit. This is definitely something that I could throw on by the poolside, or this is something I can throw on when I'm going to run into the beach. I don't feel like anything will slip out, fall out, nothing will pop out. Even with the cutout that it has in the front by the breast area and the stomach area, I, would, I don't feel like I would have a nip slip or a booty cheek slip out with this swimming suit. Now this next swimming suit that I'm going to talk to you guys about, I actually seen this swimming suit a year ago all over Instagram and Tumblr. And when I seen it, I knew immediately that I had to have it, but I just forgot and I never got around to ordering it. And when I ordered this one off of Zawful, I actually ordered it in a size medium, but I just don't think I ordered it right or something didn't go right with this swimming suit. Let me show it to you guys first. This is the mermaid swimming suit with the uh, pearl detail. It is so freaking pretty. I know you guys have seen these floating around Instagram and Tumblr as well. And it is high-waisted as well. The bottoms are... Now, the pros about this swimsuit, it is so freaking cute. It is so adorable. Like, no one else is going to have this swimming suit. At least in my opinion, no one else is going to have it and wear it as good as me. But the cons about this swimming suit is it's a little too big, the high-waist part. And I just don't think maybe it's because I have a small torso. But when I show it to you guys in the try-on, you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about. It doesn't leave a lot of area for the skin to be showing between the breast and the waist. Waist. So I don't really like that about it. It just makes me look like I have on a one piece when it's actually a two piece. And then on top of that, I don't like how this swimsuit has a lot of structure in it, but I still have under boob in this swimming suit and I ordered it in a size medium. So for me to go up another size and order in a size large, that kind of would be very ridiculous just because I have bigger breasts and it fits for the most part, the top fits well, but it's just I have so much under boob. This is not a swimming suit that I feel like I could wear by the poolside and in the beach. This is definitely a swimsuit that I feel like if I'm wearing it by the poolside, I'm always constantly going to have to like make sure my breasts are inside the swimming suit, make sure it's, you know, everything's right in the right spots in the right places. It's just too much maintenance to do. This is not a swimsuit that I would ever purchase again or wear honestly to be completely honest just because it's just too much maintenance and when I go to the pool I'm not going to try to be focused on my swimsuit all day every day. So this one is more of a Instagram type of swimsuit. This is more of a I'm just taking an Instagram picture swimsuit so not really for swimming. <laughs> That's what I would say. This next swimming suit, I ordered it and I showed it to my mom and my mom actually didn't think it would be really cute. But when it got here, you guys, I was so in love with it. This is one of my favorite swimsuits that I ordered off Zawful. And this, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the Baby Got Back one. And at first, I thought it was going to look kind of bad on me just because I don't have a big booty and um, I don't have no back. So I ordered this in a size small. So I ordered it smaller than a medium, which is what I normally would have ordered in this type of swimming suit. But I ordered in a size small just so that it could fit kind of snug. And it didn't fit too snug. It actually fit just perfect. 
and I really like it. You don't have to, you know, snap anything in the back. It's so convenient. It's so comfortable. It honestly, you guys, feels like I have on some spandex and a sports bra. This is definitely one of those swimming suits that I feel like I could wear to an amusement park, like a water park. I can definitely wear this to the beach, to the pool. I could definitely wear this swimming suit anywhere. This is one of those swimming suits where, like, if you're going to the beach and then you guys are going to go get something to eat right after, this is one of those swimming suits where you could throw on some shorts with it and be good to go and not feel uncomfortable or feel like your boobs gonna fall out or your butt's gonna be showing or anything like that. So I really, really, really love this swimming suit and I, this is gonna be my favorite, you guys. Uh, hands down, that's my favorite swimsuit. So while we're on favorite swimming suits, let's go ahead and talk about my favorite swimming suit. Now this swimming suit is very, very, very comfortable. You do have to snap it in the back right there, but the material of the swimsuit is more like the scuba diving uh, material. It's very uh, dry fitting, so like when you get it wet, you don't like stay wet. It kind of like beads up and dries really quickly. And I ordered this in a size medium. It fits really good. I'm happy I ordered it in a size medium because the bottoms actually fit like a small. So I could imagine if I ordered a small, um, my booty cheeks don't really hang out too much with the swimsuit bottoms. The only thing that I don't like about this swimsuit, I have two things I don't like about the swimsuit, I'm sorry. The first thing is when I put it on and I pull it up a little bit just to make sure it's covering my bottom, the part where your um, it goes by your lady area, your JJ, it kind of like buckles up and makes it look like you have a camel toe, so not that attractive, not in my books. So that's one thing that I kind of have to make sure I'm aware of when I'm wearing the swimming suit, just not to pull it up too far where it's comfortable enough, where it feels like it's supposed to be. So I just have to make sure it's like kind of a low rise panty. Like you know where your low rise panties go? That's kind of where you have to have this one go so it doesn't buckle up. And then I really do like this swimsuit, the top you guys, I really do, but I noticed that the hard wire is already falling apart and I haven't even worn it like out to the beach or anything yet. So that's another downfall about this swimming suit, but it is so freaking cute. It's so comfortable and I honestly just love this swimming suit. I feel like you could definitely wear this to the beach. You could wear it to the pool and again, you could wear it to an amusement park. I don't feel like my breast or my booty would fall out or peek out of this. So I just feel 100% comfortable wearing this swimming suit and I would definitely recommend it and I would wear it all the time. Moving on to the next swimming suit. I really, really, really love this swimming suit, you guys. It is so freaking adorable. I loved how unique this was. It's um like a cutout material. The back color is like a pinkish color. And then on top of it, it has another material that's like cut out squares so that you can see the back material, which is pink. And I really do like that. And I seen the swimsuit on the website. It did come in black and white as well. But pink and green is my favorite color. So I decided to give it a try. And this swimming suit is really easy and comfortable as well. You don't have like nothing to strap in the bag. It does have the adjustable uh, knobs on the swimsuit so you can adjust it. The only down part about this swimsuit that I don't like is this part right here at the front. I'm not too sure if you guys will be able to see it just while I'm holding up but definitely you'll see it when I'm trying it on. It's like you can see both of the colors and me personally I would much rather just see the the green part in the front. I know that this is, this is very small and minor but it really does make a difference and this swimsuit I do feel like my breasts would fall out and honestly I do have a lot of under boob with this swimming suit and I ordered it in a size medium so again for me to go up another size and order in a size large is a little ridiculous because I'm so small like I'm not a size large so I just don't think this is a swimsuit that you could wear on the beach and in the pool. I definitely think this is a swimsuit you'd only have to be able to wear in the pool, not at the beach because it's just, if you're running to the water, if you're walking too fast to the water and you look down, your boob is gonna be hanging out and ain't nobody got time for that. So this is definitely a swimming pool type of swimsuit. Moving on to another one of my favorite swimming suits, you guys, or at least one that I thought was gonna be my favorite online, is this two-piece swimming suit. So you have the bikini part for the top, and then for the bottom, it's like you have this one-piece thing going on, but it doesn't um, cover up your breast part. So you have to put these two together, and ta-da, you have one swimming suit. 
So for me, you guys, this swimming suit was so freaking adorable online, but when I tried it on, I just wasn't really rocking with it. And I say that only because when you put it on right here where, you know, the straps are and where um, your breast, what's supposed to hold them up, the breast part or whatever, it just never seems to want to stay on my arms. Like it's always falling off and then my triangle bikini is showing. So it's too much of a high maintenance swimming suit for me. It's definitely not a swimming suit I would wear to the pool because by the time you look down, your whole booty is going to be showing because the arms are going to be fall off, fall off. So this is definitely a swimming suit that I would say by the beach side. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even wear by the beach side because it's so high maintenance. Every five seconds, you have to look down and check up on it. Like, this is a swimming suit that needs double-sided sticky tape. And no swimsuits that I should ever have should ever need tape. So, yeah. This is a cute concept, and it was really cute online. But, no. Mm -mm. And I forgot to mention on the last swimming suit, you guys, I also did order that in a size medium. So again, for me to go up another size to order in a size large just didn't make any sense at all. So that's one of those swimming suits that just looks really good on the mannequin or the model, but not good when you put it on. So moving on to this next swimming suit, you guys, this actually is my favorite and my least favorite swimming suit. I know you guys are wondering how is that even possible, but... You're not going to be able to tell what this is from me holding it up, so I'm not even going to hold it up. And I'm just going to show you guys the bottoms. The material is like the scuba diver material, like the one swimming suit that I previously told you guys about. I ordered this one in a size medium as well. And I love this swimming suit just because it fits my body so nice. It holds up my breast so good. I have really good support. I feel like this is definitely one of those swimming suits that I feel like I could wear at the beach, at the pool, at an amusement park, on a boat. I feel like I could wear this suit anywhere honestly but the only thing I don't like about this swimming suit you guys and this is like the deal breaker for me is it is so complicated to get on like that's it it's such a sexy swimming suit when you actually figure out how to get it on and take it takes me about 30 minutes to get it on no joke no over exaggeration but it's like when I get it on it's like was it even worth all that drama and all that hassle to get it on no I would much rather put on one of the other swimming suits like the baby got back one or the first one that I showed you guys the green leafy print one and just be so comfortable and not have to worry about it but this swimming suit you really really have to be smart and you really have to have patience to get it on and for me when I'm thinking about swimming suits or picking out swimming suits I'm not trying to think about a smart swimming suit that I'm gonna have 30 minutes to figure out how to buckle it up to put it on like I'm not trying to think of that when I'm wearing the swimming suit let me show you guys the back buckles as well the buckles is another thing that I don't like about the swimming suit because I wish it was a better way that they could have made the swimming suit that it had more support when it comes to the lock and the security of the swimming suit because every time I would lock the swimming suit up just to get ready to put it on it would come undone when I put it on that's why I say it takes 30 minutes to put it on like the locks are so freaking flimsy yes it is locked but as soon as you go to put it on it does this and it unlocks and you're back at square one all over again all right, you guys, my final and last swimming suit is this really pretty, like, bandana-ish print swimming suit. Now, I'm not too sure about this swimming suit. This is definitely not one of my favorites, but it's not, like, my least favorite swimming suit. It's kind of, like, in the middle. And I ordered this swimming suit in a size medium. Um, the bottoms fit pretty normal. They look like a thong bottom and they kind of fit like a thong bottom but it's not like too much cheeks out if you know what I'm saying it's just like the perfect amount to be risky but the top is really what I'm just not too sure about now the top is like one of those tops that you put on your shoulders and it comes off the shoulders just a little bit but the concept of the swimming suit was not made in the best direction in my opinion just because it has like this a crisscross area right here and then it also has these straps that you know you tie around your waist and so when I tie them around my waist I noticed that this part right here the crisscross part will buckle up a little bit and it would just make it look just not not nice and not pretty at all so 
the concept was a really good concept but overall I definitely don't think that this is a swimming suit that I would personally wear to an amusement park or to the beach this is a swimming suit that I might wear at the pool like at a pool party or just if I'm going swimming on a hot summer day and no one's gonna be there so if they see it buckling I'm not gonna be too embarrassed but this is not a swimsuit that I would wear knowing that a lot of people are gonna be at the event because it's just not all that cute so I did order a few beach accessories now I ordered this cover up just because I figured with swimming suits you always want to have a nice cover up so this is what the cover up looks like it's white and it has lace it's so pretty but I don't think this is like the best cover up in the world. I ordered this in a size small and it still falls off my shoulders. It's a little too big like up top and it's not long enough for me. Like it barely covers my bottom part which is the only part that I'm really worried about covering up when I'm at the beach because I mean boobies are boobies but I just feel uncomfortable with showing people my butt my like my butt. So this I could have found a cuter cover-up. I could use a towel as a cover-up opposed to this. This is more of like a linen t-shirt to me opposed to a beach cover-up. So this isn't something that I would necessarily reach for when I'm going to the beach or the pool. To be honest, this is more like something that I would pair up if I'm going to like an amusement park with some shorts on, some denim shorts on. With this, this will be really cute and it's also like really open so it's not really covering up much of my breast area either so I honestly don't understand how this is called a cover up. It just covers your arms. So the last thing that I ordered from Zoffel is one of my favorite items. Now this is another cover up but this cover up is really 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 large and I'll show you guys. You guys will be able to see when um, I try it on or show it to you guys but it is so freaking big. I love this uh, cover up just because when you're on the beach you can use it as a blanket blanket to lay down it's not cotton but it's not like one of those materials that if you get it wet it's gonna be like soaked or ruined this is one of those materials where if you get it wet it might beat up and the water will dry extremely fast so that's always a plus this is something I would take to the pool just to like cover up if I'm cold or like while I'm sitting on the side of the pool on the stairs I definitely would use this so this right here I actually like this and I will be using this you guys will be seeing this on Instagram so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your way out and I'll catch you guys in my next video